Well, everybody is panicking about the YouTube demonetization thing, so I guess I should talk about it. You may or may not know that YouTube has started enforcing their terms of service in a different way, so people have gotten notifications that some of their videos are demonetized now because they are not advertiser friendly. And my first reaction to this was, oh, it's the end of YouTube once again, because this we've seen this kind of thing before where YouTube changed anything at all or you know, let people know about something and everybody freaks out and loses it completely and says that yep that's it we're doomed now <laughs> and it didn't happen like with YouTube Red for example it was not a huge catastrophe that made small channels disappear entirely and, and whatnot but um, there are some issues with this for sure so some people have asked if I have any problems with this because my channel is about weapons. Oh, it's violence. It's all going to be demonetized. No. Ironically, none of my weapon testing videos or anything have been affected. A few videos, I think four or five videos of mine have been demonetized. And it's kind of ironic which ones. Apparently a few were demonetized due to sexual humor. Because you know me, occasionally I, I make some lewd comments and uh, sexual puns and, you know, things of that nature. And apparently that's not advertiser friendly. And amusingly, one of the videos that were demonetized was a test of a green screen effect where I pretended to decapitate myself with a sword and then I, I was holding my head while talking. And apparently that's too violent or whatever, which I find really ridiculous. I mean, what the hell? Did you hear that? Apparently somebody is doing some construction around the building right now. Or, I don't know, maybe someone's moving in and drilling holes. I don't know, what the hell? Hopefully that's not too loud. So, um, yeah, apparently that's who violent or whatever, even though, you know, violent scenes from video games and movies are perfectly fine, but if I pretend to decapitate myself <laughs> for the green screen effect, that's, oh, that's not advertiser friendly. It's, it's a little bizarre, I mean, really. Uh, what I find the most disturbing in this case is that videos about suicide where people are trying to be helpful you know, talking about you know their experiences or even just about the the psychological um data and research about it and, and what what you can do you know, basically helpful positive videos that are intended to support people who have such issues with, with depression and whatnot they have been demonetized just because the word depression appears which is insane, quite frankly. That's the kind of thing where I can see why people are complaining. Yes, that is highly, highly unreasonable. So the basic idea behind this, I get. Advertisers don't want their ads show up before a video of, say, a, a psychopathic, raging neo-Nazi <laughs> spewing hatred. Okay, I, I, I can get that. But what's with a depression video or, or suicide suicide help video? What's the problem with that? That that's really really bizarre. Or um, unfortunately, also it includes uh, controversial topics, which is of course completely vague and open to interpretation. So I guess that means if you talk about things like feminism, for example, that's not okay. Like, regardless of what you have to say about it, if you're in favor of it or against it or whatever on the fence, I guess that can get videos demonetized. I don't know how often that actually happens, but it's ridiculous. I mean, this is, this is really uh, sabotaging exchange of ideas and then public discourse. Yes, I know, it comes with all of the drama and bullshit and shouting matches and all of that, which is bad, obviously. Uh, but at the same time, 
just demonetizing it completely i no that's not okay but at the same time we have to realize they've only just started doing that with the bots right now so the bots are going through keywords and flagging videos based on that and you can appeal it you can uh, tell them hey review this have an actual person look at it and then decide if it's advertiser friendly or not so you can do something about it that's it's totally possible and i'm expecting youtube to change the way they are processing it based on how it goes and the feedback they're getting because everybody talks about it right now which is good so i highly doubt that they're just going to put their foot down and, and they're just going to be like no everything is going to be demonetized that, that you know could be even remotely considered offensive i highly doubt that's going to be the case so i'm pretty sure they're going to change it however what i would really like to see is whenever they they do things like that how about you communicate with the content creators because the content creators are what keep YouTube alive. That's what their money comes from. And uh, it, wouldn't it be nice to have a poll or something asking, hey, what do you think about this? How should we implement this? But apparently that's too much to ask, at least at this point. So yeah, there you have it. I don't, do I believe that this is going to be the end of YouTube? No, I don't. Am I happy with it? No, definitely not. Uh, should this be improved? Oh yes, 100%. So that's pretty much it. It's not, it's not a major change. I mean, those terms of service have been there for a while. It's really just how they enforce it has changed. But is it a good thing? No, definitely not. There was no need to change that. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.